Hey guys, welcome back to Martyrs Tech Adventures. My name is Brian. This is our family channel, all about uh, the fun stuff that we do as a family. So we're doing some RV park reviews because we just recently bought an RV. So today we're gonna tell you a little bit about Stephen F. Austin State Park in Sealy, Texas. Let's get going. guys so welcome back like i said my name is brian this is mars tech adventures and like i said earlier we recently bought a travel trailer and we've been traveling this summer around texas um, we're doing a series where we are showcasing some of the state parks and the rv facilities and camping places that we've been to and we're giving reviews and just kind of sharing the data about the places I mentioned that we are at Stephen F. Austin State Park in Sealy, Texas, which is in Austin County. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the details and the data about the place. Then we're going to talk about the pros, the cons, and our overall opinion. I'm going to try and keep this as quick and short as possible. So hang in there. All right, so let's get started with the data. Number one, this park is in Sealy, Texas. It is about 45 minutes from Houston, give or take, depending on what part of town you're coming from. It's about two, two and a half hours from San Antonio. Uh, it's right off of I-10, and you can be here and in the park super quick and easy. Um, it is a relatively small park. There are only about 30 or so RV sites. Um, they are full hookup sites, so you do have sewer, water, and electric. Um, I believe they are all 30 amp sites. I do not think they're 50. You'd wanna verify that on the State Parks website or give them a call. Um, as far as the sites, they're all pull through. They are all like an asphalt kind of a pad. They're all relatively level. So we pulled out our leveling blocks to level up just a little bit, but it wasn't that significant. And honestly, we probably didn't even need to do that. We could have made it through the two nights that we were here without doing it. So um, this trip, we did come just my wife and I, we did not bring our daughter. Um, and so one of the reasons that we did that is because this park doesn't have quite as much to offer and we want to give her the opportunity to stay at home because she's a teenager now and she needs to be learning that independence so um, it was really nice being out here however um, cell phone coverage is a bit of an issue so um, just know that coming out here you may have one bar but that would probably be the best of what you get um, getting into some of the other cons about the park um, it's a very quiet park which I know that sounds like it could be a pro and for some people it absolutely is um, I'm personally not a hiker um, I will hike occasionally depending on where we are um, but that's pretty much the primary thing to do here for fun hiking and biking um, so really my wife and I came here to enjoy just the peace and quiet we didn't plan on getting out a whole lot um, but you know, it, it was what it was and we enjoyed staying here. Um, we've actually been here several times and maybe that's part of why I feel the way I do about this park. Um, we've tent camped, we've stayed in the screen shelters they have available and now we've also done the RV thing um, with our travel trailer. So it's, to me, it's a little bit, because of how small the park is, it's a little bit um, familiar. Um, it's comfortable, but it's, it's nothing special to me. Um, a lot of people will come and camp here because uh, when they go out on their first trip, when they first get a travel trailer or motorhome or something like that, this is an easy just trial run. It's getting out of their driveway, getting away from home, but it doesn't have to be a super far distance. So you'll have a lot of families who come out here from um, the west side of Houston when they just get a travel trailer. Um, it's a quick, easy little 30 minute, 40 minute drive and then they're here and if they forgot something, they can run home. Um, there is a Walmart maybe 10 minutes away in Sealy proper and so it's on Highway 36. If you're familiar with the area, you just go right into town and you get it. It's great. Um, so just, you know, being, being a, a con of this place is it, it is a little bit old news. Um, but there are some really cool things. I, I know it's weird to say, but there are some, there are some cool things that they've done here at the park um, that they're updating. Um, number one, they are building some new bathhouses um, in the RV parking area specifically. Um, so that's nice. We're looking forward to that. Um, they are also redoing the group dining hall and they're just they're fixing up some of the facilities. Um, this park is prone to flooding because it's right adjacent to the Brazos River. And so when there are major, major his, uh, historical type floods, um, this park can close. Some of the trails have been washed out in the past. Um, you'll see on YouTube, there are other videos talking 
about rebuilding some of those facilities, uh, people who come out and spend the day working, and that's awesome. I think that's amazing um, that there's such a community support to help rebuild the park. Um, nothing here is so decrepit or old that you couldn't use it. it. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. It's just older and it's a little, um, a little bland in my opinion. Um, but it is absolutely beautiful. I'm sitting here as the sun is rising and it's so quiet and peaceful. I've seen probably a dozen deer. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's really quite a lovely park in terms of nature and wildlife. Um, there is a lot of tree coverage, um, but we've never had any tree branches fall on trailers, near trailers, near tents or anything like that. Um, so, you know, you don't necessarily have to worry about that as much. Um, so the sites were, $25 a night, um, it's a state park kind of thing. That's just about what they all go for. Um, I will say if you've never purchased one, I would highly encourage you to consider purchasing the Texas State Parks Pass. It's about $70 for a year. You have to renew it every year. But what it does is it gives you a discount on your site fees as well as discount like in the, the store and whatever if you're buying things at the gift shop. Uh, but most importantly, it gives you admission to the state parks without having to pay a daily use fee and so we really like that because when we camp if we have a you know our daughter or friends with us we don't have to pay i think it's seven dollars a day per person um, and that can add up really quickly um, when you have that state parks pass anyone who's in your vehicle can get into the park for no additional cost they're covered by your state parks pass um, overall it is a it is a lovely park it's quiet it is definitely nature like um, it's not nature like it is nature <laughs> um, but if you're looking for like the water parks and the pools and the you know the big amenity villages and things like that that's not what this is um, this is more of a hike and bike and be in nature trail you're gonna see wildlife you're gonna feel like you're camping I mean this is what I grew up doing as a Boy Scout so um, I will say there's one more piece that is really cool um, it's not necessarily in the park but they are um, adjacent to the park when you're coming in off of uh, FM 1458 which is the main road from the freeway you're going to turn west to come to the park on Park Road 38 so apparently it's confusing and people kind of get lost and end up on a dead-end street sometimes um, don't follow your GPS just simply turn west on Park Road 38 and follow it as it curves and you'll go straight into the park you don't need to turn off to the left you don't need to turn off to the right on any side streets just follow park road 38 right into the park um, it'll curve to the right um, if you're at that intersection at 1458 and park road 38 on your west side is going to be the entrance to the park on the east side is a state historical site um, this area is the area that was settled by the old 300. So if you know your Texas history, this is a area that is rich in Texas history. Um, that museum is something I would highly encourage you to go check out. Um, it's really, really cool to see just how far Texas has come as, a, um, as an entity, as a community. Um, a lot of the sacrifices that were made when people came here to settle this area. Um, it's just a really cool museum where you can learn a lot about who we are as Texans and how we got to be that way. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below if you've been to Stephen F. Austin before. Um, we're going to be going to some other parks coming up in the next couple months. We're going to be sharing about our experiences and adventures there. So I would love to know where you think we should go. We've got some booked. We still have some open weekends that we're still trying to figure out where we're going to go. So let us know. Give us some ideas. Thanks a lot so much for being here, and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.